Thomas over his scoring guard, and he's able to capitalize, knocking down his first bucket of the game. And the first for Syracuse in a minute. And Syracuse coming away with the turnover. Brooks got beat on that play, and up in. He should be getting the starting role in front of Joe Girard. By the way, has now started 42 consecutive games. Richmond, no question about this, is a... Now Syracuse on a mini 6-0 run, but they desperately needed that. Richmond kicks it here for Griffin. Part of that mash unit that certainly is the Miami Hurricane. Shot clock inside 10. Augusti. The bounce speed here for Wong. Knocks down the three from deep right there. He's playing with a different level of confidence off the basketball. Yes. And Gerard gives Syracuse their first lead of the game at 14 to. And picked off. Right into the hands of Richmond. He's going to go one on. And He's been pretty darn quiet, Corey. Yes, he has, but for Miami. But they were making two. And when you're making me unable to get going from beyond the arc as well. Beheim zips it back up top for the. Now we've seen Cross, we've seen Mcgusty, a number of guys getting in the middle of the zone. So the action is not allowing Syracuse to set up and find one particular player. Got a good look for Cross in the corner, unable to knock it down. And now Miami is 0 for 8 beyond it. Who continues to play well, particularly on the defensive end. He's come up with some key. Some contact, but I like the fact there was no call on that, on that play, and Edwards continued to play through and finish the bucket. Syracuse tonight playing very much in the personality of their legendary head coach, Jim Bay. I no panic at all. And second half. And, you know, we talked about Syracuse getting out to big leads in the past and not being able to finish off games. They're going to need him when this comes down to crunch time. But in front, behind Anthony Walker. Look at the Syracuse basketball on the interior of that zone has been beneficial. And that was like play reminiscent of what we saw early in the game with Walker and Brooks hooking up on the senior who had missed several games to a hamstring injury. Leaning inside, that won't drop, but controlled by Syracuse on the baseline. They don't know that they can make enough twos to beat Syracuse. At some point, they're going to have to make some threes to have success. free throw line. He has 15 points tonight. Kick out for Walker. Durier has become a center of attraction here. I've known Earl Timberlake for a Now up to 23 points. Matching or surpassing his 21 that he scored. Syracuse has a chance to really get rolling starting tonight. They'll play four of their next five. You just missed the three. That's the best way to try to fix things as Isaiah Wong forces a three. Really kind of raised the ire of Jim Beheim. And, mm -hmm. you know, so, and, and they've been able to really. Richmond on a dribble. 
Nice look there. That's going to be picked off. Stolen away by Beverly. Nice save there. The shovel. He is so engaged. And you're talking about maybe the 153 or 351 Division I schools and what yeah, they're no. doing. You are too. You watch a ton of basketball. You watch as much as any. Of everything. And yet still happens to be a Hall of Fame coach <laughs> with a national championship and multiple Final Fours. Conditioning, because it's not as though you can practice. You, No one can be in the gym. You can't do anything for at least a week. Just as these two guys are when they're both playing the way they are tonight because they're both knockdown shooters. Now they can be streaky at times, but when they get it going, it is hard to defend the Syracuse team tonight because they're both knockdown shooters. Now they can be streaky at times, but when they get it, good. this is a game where we really could have picked five different guys for Zaxby's player of the game. I mean, when you think about you know, Quincy Garrier was great, and we haven't talked much about him at all. But Kadari Richmond. But again, four out of five inside the carrier dome. They're in a pretty good stretch, certainly for home games. I love the place to be packed with fans, of course. And.